Hey everybody, Steven playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online for PC and today just want to talk about the fact that you cannot transfer your Xbox or your PlayStation online character to PC. Uh, Rockstar has stated that they are not going to allow this. A lot of people have kind of submitted tickets um, on their website and asked about it and they basically said that just because of the difference um, with what they've done to the game, they're treating it as a completely separate game, and because of that, um, it has just different things going on, and they're not going to allow you to transfer your character, which is a major bummer, um, especially for all of us that have been grinding really hard on leveling up our character, and now we're basically starting from ground zero. So, uh, I haven't seen anything that goes into a great deal detail explaining why they made that decision. I have seen a couple things in different articles saying that they wanted this to be an even playing field for anybody new coming to the game. So for people that I've seen, they've been over level 200 or rank 200, um, almost 300 here. Um, I guess I kind of get that, but um, at the same time, when you've invested that much time and energy into leveling up your character, it does suck to start over. Um, Personally, I mean, I, I'm not going to be too upset. I don't have to play it on PC. Uh, I could play it on my Xbox. It's still a bummer because I did put a ton of time into leveling up my character. But it's almost a little bit exciting to be able to start over. Now, I've bought gold, so I have spent more money on the game, which sucks. I wish they would kind of compensate those players that have been playing on a console with some more gold bar. They did for anybody that preloaded the game or... Um, kind of pre-reserved the game, you do get 50 gold bars and a treasure map at the beginning of the game, but it would have been nice to get a little bit more. Um, but the fact that they've done anything is nice, I guess. So de definitely for me, a catch-22. Like, they've done certain things that I wish they would do more of, but they also don't have to do anything. At the same time, it would have been nice that they included the ability to transfer. But now that we get to kind of start fresh, um, I've bought gold just because I wanted to get a couple things right off the bat um, and just kind of get that out of the way with my outfit and get my character kind of basically back to where I have them, at least look-wise. And then now it goes back to the grind. The good news is with the rolls, you can level up much faster. You can earn money and XP much faster than prior to the Frontier Pursuits update that brought those rolls. So that's kind of an upside with all of this, but like I said... Kind of a bummer that uh, they're not allowing us to uh, port over our character, but I guess the upside is you get to start over fresh and kind of do anything different that you wanted to do different there. So uh, that is it. Hopefully that helps and answers any questions for anybody. I'm going to put a link to an article that does talk about it. Um, there's a bunch of different forums on Reddit, and like I said, Polygon has an article as well. I'm going to do a link to a different article talking about it, but um, hopefully that helps anybody that was wondering what's going on with the ability to transfer and whether or not you can. I'm wondering if in the future they do allow for that with enough kind of fan backlash, because I do think that they're going to get some backlash for this. But at that point, if it's a couple months down the road and you've already grinded again, I don't know how many people are going to want to port over <laughs> their old character um, when they're already in the midst of getting close to being where they were anyways so we'll see with that if you guys like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all of my content hit the subscribe button for me thanks so much for watching